Welcome to the 8th National Animal Rights Day. We are joining thousands of people in 32 other cities around the world to honor the 56 billion land animals and the 2.7 trillion marine animals who are slated to die this year at the hands of humans because we here believe that their lives can be spared. My name is Roger Wolfson. I'm not here today as Commissioner of Animal Services for the City of Los Angeles, although I am. I'm not here as a vegan, although I am. I'm not here as the parent of two dogs from LA shelters who are happy and healthy and vegan, although I am and they are. I'm not here to try and browbeat anyone to eat anything different than they want to eat, or hunt less, or buy fewer products made from or tested on animals, or invest less in companies that decimate wildlife habitats, even though I wish that I could. I am simply here to honor and cherish the lives of these amazing creatures who share this planet with us, and so are the people behind me. And I'm here to honor and cherish the values and the compassion that brought all of us together here and around the world, and so are the people behind me. So first, let me start by thanking the organizers, the speakers, and most of all, the attendants. Next, I want to make a request that those of us here, by holding this event, are asking the people who participate in the process of killing animals to stop compartmentalizing their compassion. We know these people love their families, their friends, their pets, their communities. All we want is for them to extend that compassion to land and marine animals. But if we think that it should be easy for them, then we need to model this compassion ourselves. We need to remember that humans are animals too, even carnivorous humans, and those who cause animal de animals' deaths through their purchases or actions. Many, if not most of us here, chose to contribute to the death of animals at one point in our lives. Shame didn't help us make different choices. Love helped. Seeing how much happier our friends were who made conscious choices to protect animals helped. Seeing how much they enjoyed being vegan helped. Seeing how much healthier they were helped. And seeing how loving they were helped even more. I'm here to say that since I became a vegan, I'm healthier. I'm happier. Since I stopped buying clothes made from animal products, and stopped investing in companies that research on animals or that contribute to the destruction of wildlife habitats, I'm more gentle. I'm more at peace with nature and animals. Because I've stopped compartmentalizing my compassion and I can now see the magnificence in these creatures that I might have been blind to before. Cows' hearts beat at the same rate as ours. Chickens dream in deep REM sleep. When a sheep is ill, it will find comfort in self-medication. It knows what herbs to eat to heal. Pigs snuggle and prefer to sleep nose to nose. Species of fish garden by tending to fields of algae. Fish fight to protect coral. Even different species set aside their differences and work together to save their environment from predators. Turkeys blush, elephants cry, rabbits hum the same way that kittens purr, lobsters teach their children to walk by holding their claws, and all of them are defenseless against us. No matter how cruel we are, they can't fight back, object, protest, or congregate like we are doing now. They can communicate with each other, fish wiggle their bladders, pigs emit scents, shrimp rumble but they have no voice in persuading humans to spare their lives. So it's up to us. Every single second, humans kill 3,000 land animals and 144,000 marine animals. Every one of these creatures is a sentient, conscious being who deserves to live their own life. And it's not just that we kill them. It's that billions more are tortured by a capitalistic approach that has no place dealing with living beings all for a culturally induced preferred taste that isn't even healthy for humans. 
In the next 30 minutes that, that we will be here, 6 million land animals and 288 million marine animals will die unnecessarily. But that doesn't have to be the case for the following 30 minutes or the 30 minutes thereafter. Not if each of us can marry our compassion with our indignation and go out there to not to tell people what they are doing wrong, but simply to share with them how we feel, how animals feel. Cows' hearts beat like ours. Chickens dream. Elephants cry. Turkeys blush. And all of them need us. Let me conclude with a prayer for the souls who have been lost already and for those who are in jeopardy. Let us open our hearts and our minds to them. And let our umbrella of compassion extend from this gathering here to our friends and our families and our neighbors and to our fields and our forests and our oceans. My name is Roger Wolfson, and I'm not here just because I love animals. I'm here because I love you.